This has to be Whoa! Whoa, whoa, look at this in that reverb. Hello, folks! You can tell I am seriously not ready for this, because I still have the volume set up from last night. But yes, Brian, you won the only hobo tom by looking disarrays because I think I've already went to the recycling plant. I cashed in all my aluminum. Went to the bank, went to the gym, went to Dollar Tree. Need to shower up, shave, get to work, come back, and talk, and watch, and go through Impact Wrestling! So this is my Impact Wrestling review against all odds. I don't have an image for it. Uh, 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 I'm honestly surprised I know what day it is. Uh, so let's go through this Impact Against All Odds prediction video. I'm so far behind in doing stuff. I'm so ha I'll be so happy when I'm, I'm done. Nine more days. Nine blessed days. But enough about me. Let's get to you guys. For you are my YouTube audience. I do have the hobo list. Um, I will be sending out your video thank yous probably later when I make my NXT prediction. Um, again, you can tell I'm in a rush. I don't even have my wrestling shirt on. So let's start off with the five way to determine the number one contender. Wait, hit my music. Yes, so now we get into the Impact Against All Odds wrestling card. Let's see here. Um, first one's a fail five-way. You have P.D. Williams versus Trey Miguel versus Ace Austin versus Chris Bay versus Rohit Raju. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to choose someone randomly here. I think... You know what? Ace Austin is a pretty good heel for that belt. I think they're going to put it on Trey Miguel, though. So, my prediction is going to be Trey Miguel. And because this is, as always, the X Division, this is my match of the night. Then, um, it's going to be time for a little snooze break, because we have Princess Kimberly and, S and Susan taking on Fire and Flavor for the belts. You know what, Fi Fire and Flavor are keeping those belts. I won't care. I hope that's on first, because I'll miss it, because I'll be at work. That would be my snooze match anyway. Then we have Violent by Design versus Decay in a tag team match. You know what? They have to build a Violent by Design. Uh, Black Taurus and won't eat the pin. It'll probably be crazy to see if eating the pin. Oh, yeah. Fire and Flavor are going to retain their belts anyway. Like I care. Um, Violent by Design is going to win. Then we have Rich Salon taking on W. Morrissey. This, folks, is going to be my stone cold... Lock. Mainly because it's W. Morrissey going to win. He's still kind of new to things. He hasn't been around long enough to eat, to eat a loss and have that loss be meaningful. So W. Morrissey, big cast, is going to win. Thankfully, I did make the match hard last night for the video. Then we have Deanna Parazzo versus Rosemary for the Knockouts Championship. I'm going to go out on a small limb here. I think they're staling a little bit on Deanna Parazzo. Rosemary's making a comeback. She looks in much better shape. Rosemary is going to take that belt off Deanna Parazzo. Then we have Satoshi Kojima taking on Joe Doring. They're not having the guy from New Japan come in and just win a match. That's not happening. This is going to be a good match, though. Don't get me wrong. There's a difference between just jobbing out and having a good match. Joe Doring's going to win. They're, they're trying to going to push him in Violent by Design. So that's easy. The main event of the evening, then, it's going to be Kenny Omega taking on Moose. I don't know. This is just a 50-50 toss-up. It's only for the Impact Championship. And I don't know... If they really want to have Kenny with that belt. 
So Good Brothers aren't doing much. Again, only because it is Moose. I'll have Moose winning. Uh, so that's my predictions for against for against all odds. Hopefully you'll have this up. Hopefully before the show starts. If not, it'll be set there in the archive records forever. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching.